Hi, everyone. It's、um, truly a privilege to stand in with New Zealand Trade Development Office. You are also the major、uh, co-host for the, this、uh, amazing conference. Yeah, so it's、uh, really an honor to have you and share with us、um, the New Zealand's experience and your perspectives. So I think、uh, today we want to know more. Like, what do you think? Well, what kind of drive we can、uh, factors we can drive the geothermal Energy industry in Taiwan forward. Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, well, thank you firstly for having me. You know, it's my privilege, and you know, our, our great partners of Baseload who are working in collaboration with our New Zealand entities.、Um, in response to geothermal, well, New Zealand's got a long history of geothermal. It's been over 50 years since we've had geothermal、uh, power plants, and so based on that, we've got a lot of history and knowledge and data and understanding of the geological climates that sit within those reservoirs. We've also worked a lot、uh, internationally across Southeast Asia,、uh, East Asia, and other global sites to then help, you know, empower those respective countries with their geothermal and renewable energy demands that they have, which is a great source. So when we talk about Taiwan. Um, Taiwan's got a, a great opportunity ahead of it, but it's a, a challenging one as well. Lots of different reservoirs, lots of different depths, acidity, styles, rock formations. So science is going to be a key part to understanding the geothermal climate here. And science takes time. Data capture takes time. So continue to invest in your data and watching the science, follow the science. I think GNS Science. We're very happy that I say that because that is the biggest thing. You've got to understand how this this source of water and energy is moving underneath the soil, so it can be truly renewable and it can be truly sustainable. That's one of the key factors.、Uh, I think one of the key things that was heard today at the conference, which again is really great, 800 odd people here. Uh, lots of countries represented. Everyone's very interested in coming to support Taiwan and its geothermal、uh, demands, but there's going to be fine tension between speed of turning on a power station and then capital investment and then sustainable and renewable for key stakeholders. Working with all of your key stakeholders and bringing them on the journey is going to be one of the most critical things you can do for a sustainable、uh, energy source. And a lot of the reservoirs are in indigenous lands, so educating our indigenous.、Um, Stakeholders to make sure that they're fully aware of what the opportunities are, what the impacts will be, and what the potential can be for them,、uh, as because they're the guardians of the the renewable energy source for future generations. So you have to be cognizant to that. It's not just about a short-term power supply; it's about a continuous power supply.、Uh, Capital investment is going to be key, and it's great that the government here in Taiwan is very supportive, and it's got its incentivisations with the. Development of the、uh, the the research, the drilling, the actual capacity building, and then turning on a power plant. So it's got some very clear thinking around how it wants to achieve that very ambitious goals to get there by 2050, which again makes good sense in a time when the world needs to work fast. It's not alone here. You know, climate change is upon us, and doing good things for the world is going to be critical. Talent. You're going to need talent. How do you build talent so that they can be Taiwan-owned and operated energy sources, and you've got less reliance on external factors, and those external relationships become higher value for everybody. So, how do you invest in your engineers? How do you invest in all of that geothermal and geological science space? So, again, plug for University of Auckland right here, and all of that that science development. But then you've got to then main. Once you do have、uh, establishment of these plants, which is big demand to get them up and running, because you've got clear power sovereignty needs, you want to do this and you want to do this fast. And then、um, you've got wind, you've got the solar, of course, and geothermal makes good sense that you have it here.、Uh, once you do establish that, it's it's that ongoing commitment to the capital maintenance of these power plants.、Uh, They're going to need constant、uh, technologies developed and evolved to make sure that they're relevant for Taiwan. And again, MB Century has the ability to support you、um, with those those needs. But it's a partnership, and I think there's the global world of、uh, geothermal in the in the auditorium over here. And I think if anyone can solve these、uh, opportunities and challenges for Taiwan, it's the group of people that you have here. Great relationships, long-term relationships, truly valuing the input for Taiwan, not just about stakeholder and shareholder repayments and the capital demands. Intergenerational, 
renewable energy sources, watching the science and developing good sustainable programs that's going to be manageable uh, and really empower the people in the regions where you're actually going to build these power plants. Thank you. You shared many valuable takeaways. Yes, talent, science, and uh, especially you talk about partnerships. So we are very honored that we have many uh, stakeholders from New Zealand today to share their expertise and experience. Uh, so thank you for thank Team you. New Zealand. Uh, yes, Kia ora, Taiwan. <laughs>